Hey everybody, and welcome back to another showdown battle. This is going to be the last one with our little Easter Bunny team, so say farewell to our our Cottontail friends. They will be missed greatly. I don't know if I want to bring these Pokemon back. If I do, I'm definitely going to use them under the Easter Bunny's name, because um, the team is just too scary to use under my own name. But leave a comment if you would like to see these um, guys and gals in the future, and uh, maybe I'll bring them back sometime once I don't have a backlog full of battles that need to be uploaded. Um, but going into my opponent's team, it's really cool. Uh, Crawdont, Ambipom, uh, Gliscor, Sableye, Bronzong, and Gudra. And Bronzong is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I was pretty excited to see it since I haven't really seen Bronzong a lot since, since uh, Generation 4. Um, and of course, since I haven't seen it very much, Bronzong and Ambipom are two of my most feared Pokemon on this person's team, along with, of course, the main OU threats. Gliscor stalls like crazy, and Crawdon is just powerful as heck. And Sableye is a Pokemon that I need to figure out how to trick before it can trick me. Um, and then Gudra, it just takes a little whittling down. I'm not too afraid of Gudra, but um, yeah, this is... This is looking like it's a really strong team, so um, let's hope that this Easter Bunny match, this last one, will be a good one. So my opponent leads off with Ambipom, and I lead off with Lopunny, just like last time. Yeah, just like last time, and I switch out because I don't want to take a fake out from that Ambipom. I don't know how well um, Lopunny could take that hit, even though I know that she could survive it. So I switched into Executor because I know that Executor can take it better, and I protected just to see if that Ambipom had, like, Aerial Ace or U-Turn or something, which it probably did have, uh, it, it had U-Turn, I'm pretty sure. Um, I switched in my Wigglytuff to take a knockoff, which I actually wasn't expecting from that Ambipom, <clears throat> and it doesn't do all that much. Even though it takes off uh, Wigglytuff's um, leftovers, which doesn't bother me too much, Ambipom decides to U-turn out, and I was curious to see who uh, my opponent would bring in, but um, regardless, I decide to set up my Stealth Rock, because that's just always a good idea. My Flamethrower did practically nothing to this Bronzong, um, and G uh, Gyro Ball also did nothing to Wigglytuff, so that was actually pretty cool that Wigglytuff survived that. However, this flamethrower not doing that much made me think that maybe this Bronzong didn't have Levitate, but I didn't want to take the chance um, that it did, which is why I didn't bring Diggersby in here, because I'm really not in a position against this team where it's pretty unpredictable. Um, I'm, I'm not really in the position to take a guess and be wrong. So, um... Bronzong has a really cool strategy. Since um, Steel types can't be poisoned, the trick on Maractus um, to give it a Toxic Orb was actually really surprising to me. Um, I was not expecting that at all. And that's why I brought Maractus in, because I didn't think that Bronzong would be able to do very much. Um, Hidden Power Fire was not doing very much to Bronzong, so I decided to switch out again into something else. And I chose uh, Azumarill as my opponent switches out as well right into Gudra who is uh, who takes play rough not very well except I don't do that right away um, and I really should have taken this opportunity to maybe set up a belly drum although I'm not that confident in um, how fast Azumarill is compared to Sableye but I, I double switched out anyway um, so with Sableye out, I decided to uh, switch out Diggersby and bring Maractus in because Maractus already has a status move on it um, in the form of Toxic, so Will-O-Wisp did not work. And a lot of my Pokemon are physically based on this team, which is a uh, bad thing um, against Sableye, especially with uh, Wigglytuff being down already, and Maractus and Executor being my only special attackers. So, um, with Giga Drain, uh, I'm pretty much sold on the fact that this Bronzong is a heatproof Bronzong instead of a, um, instead of a Levitate one, because Giga Drain does just about as much damage as Maractus' Hidden Power Fire, 
And um, I'm trying to do some math in my head right now with Giga Drain plus Stab, which I think is 70 um, plus 35, I believe. So it um, it didn't really. It's not supposed to do more than um, hidden power. I don't think. No, it's not. So especially a super effective hidden power. So um, that that Bronzong definitely had heat proof because otherwise it would have been taking a lot more damage. I decided to sack Maractus against this Gudra because um, it really wasn't doing very much good against my opponent's team, and I would really like to show a match where um, Maractus just dominates. And I actually had a match where uh, Maractus took control of the match, but he ended up forfeiting um, really early on. And there was another one with Maractus being the star of the show, but um, that match just wasn't all that good because my opponent kind of goofed around with the moves. So, um, unfortunately you won't get to see Maractus do a whole bunch, but this is like a switch fest, this uh, match. I bring in my Exeggutor uh, to take a Will-O-Wisp because um, since that's my only special attacker left, I really had no choice but to go for it. And I switched out Exeggutor again to bring in Lopany and maybe try to uh, switcheroo that Assault Vest onto Sableye to incapacitate it, but it not uses Knock Off and I lose the opportunity to um, give Sableye that Assault Vest. And I'm not used to seeing Sableye with Knock Off. Um, I usually see it with uh, Foul Play or, um, what's another one, like Nightshade, uh, just to hit um, a lot of Pokemon decently, um, but I'm not used to seeing Knock Off, so that Sableye is extra annoying, <laughs> probably more so than usual. Gliscor comes in, and I can't really do all that much to Gliscor with Lopany. Um, I decided not to Toxic with Lopany a second time, so, I mean, it's not really like it mattered anyway since Gliscor had a Toxic Orb. But what I wanted to do, since Gliscor is so annoying itself, um, I wanted to bring in Exeggutor and try to annoy my opponent too, so it's kind of like an annoyer for an annoyer. And the funny thing is, this uh, my opponent's team has uh, Gliscor and Sableye on it, so it's like double annoying. But um, yeah, I'm pretty much just trying to uh, harvest uh, my Citrus Berry again, so that um, so that I'm able to just you know keep keep Exeggutor around, even with that burn. Thank goodness it's a burn and not toxic, because that would do a lot more damage than um, than the burn. So. I'm able to bring in Lopany again, and I get a Toxic off on Gudra, which will help me take it down a lot faster. Even though I have three physical types, it's just nice to put a Toxic on Gudra just to help um, help with the damage. He decides to switch Gudra out and uh, back into Gliscor, and this time I decide to just leave Lopany in. I encored that Gliscor, and of course it doesn't do anything because Gliscor didn't make a move. Um, before he came in. Um, he went for an acrobatics, or I guess she, that's a female symbol, and I just went for a circle throw to get Gliscor out of there, because um, I figured Gliscor is best saved for later. Ambipom is dragged in, and so I take Lopany out again, and I bring in um, Exeggutor to take another fake out, because I knew Lopany would not survive that, and I would like to have Lopany around for later. Um, when my opponent is down to fewer Pokemon that are slower than her. And um, Exeggutor is able to get another Citrus Berry up, and his health is a lot better now. And I switched out because I didn't want uh, Exeggutor taking a knockoff or U-turn, of course. I want to keep Exeggutor around as well to just annoy my opponent. Ampipom goes for a Thunder Wave, which is another move I was not expecting. Um, I was kind of hoping that he would switch into uh, one of his Pokemon that was weak to Fairy, which he has three of them, um, and I could knock them out, but that's not what he did. Um, with Gliscor coming in, um, I wanted I just went ahead and went for an Aqua, Jet, uh, an Aqua Jet just to see how much damage it would do. It probably wouldn't have knocked Gliscor out at that point because um, just how bulky Gliscor is, but it's a good thing he went for Protect because at that point I kind of it kind of clicked with me that I need to switch Azumarill out and save it for later because it is much more beneficial to me um, to have Azumarill later to Belly Jet 
uh, the opponent's team, which ends up being like a clutch sort of strategy for me in a lot of battles with this team. I guess Azumarill is just that type of Pokemon. Um, so I have Exeggutor in here, and I went for a Psychic just to do a lot of damage. Um, I probably should have gone for like a Giga Drain or something, but um, I didn't, because <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't really think about it to uh, boost my health. I went for a Protect uh, just to try to harvest a Citrus Berry in case that Glyscore decided to stay in an Acrobatics, but it didn't do that. It switched into Gudra, I guess, um, expecting to take a Grass type attack. So I protected again since um, my opponent left me with a free turn to do so, just to see if I could harvest another uh, Citrus Berry, of course, and um, replenish some of the health that I lost. But um, I'm unable to, and I'm unable to protect a, a second time in a row. So I go down to Flamethrower from Gudra, but that toxic damage is really taking its toll, and Gudra has no real way of um, recovering her or his health. Um, and I'm assuming that it's an, an Assault Vest variant, so there's no way it could even rest up or anything like that. I don't really like Assault Vest on Gudra because I think it's, um, it's, um, special defense is good enough already. It doesn't really need it, and it could probably use, uh, recovery more than anything. But, um, I took this opportunity to Belly Drum on Azumarill, and even though the Paralysis kicked in. Uh, knockoff did not do all that much since Azumarill is a fairy type, and since Azumarill is paralyzed already, um, there was no way that he could be burned. So I went for an Aqua Jet here against Crawdont because I figured that I was going to be taken out by it anyway, but I get a really, really lucky hit, and I say that's really lucky because that probably mattered. I mean, that did matter. That Crawdont could have Aqua Jetted both my Diggersby and um, my Lopany and probably would have KO'd both of them because um, I'm unable to really resist um, a hard hit from an adaptability crawled on. So that was just really lucky and since Gudra can't take physical hits really well, um, he goes down to an Aqua Jet as well and luckily I only get Paralysis hacks one time, which is really lucky for me because um, I usually have hacks against me out the wazoo, so um, this was a really great battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed my Easter Bunny team, and uh, even though it's a day late, I hope you guys had a great Easter, or a great spring break, or a great Sunday, or a great day. I don't know what you celebrate, but I hope it was a good whatever. Um, and if you like this battle, please leave a comment and a like rating. If you would like to see the bunny team again, um, just leave a comment and I will think about it once my backlog is cleared up a little bit. If you would like to, visit GamersBench.com where we review and play through games that you may be, you may be interested in yourself. And um, my Twitter page is linked in the description, so if you would like to follow me and receive updates on videos that I post on YouTube there, um, you feel free to do so. I would greatly appreciate the followers as well. So, um, But overall, I hope you're enjoying these showdown battles, and I will catch y'all at the next one. Thanks for watching.